and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you guys how I edit my YouTube videos because this is a very, very, very requested. So if you like this video and like the tips, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Let's go. So the first thing that I do is obviously open Final Cut Pro. I do have the iMovie. I don't use it anymore, but I do have some tips if you guys wanted to know. So the first thing that I do is I grab my clips and um, I'm going to just kind of go over. So here is all the clips and sometimes when I don't find my clips I just kind of like put like screenshot, let's say it's screenshot and then the video will appear, <coughs> just an example. But I grab my footage that I'm using for my video and if I'm using a song I just like to drag this little bar right here all the way down. And it just gives it no sound or you can go to the audio and there's a little tool you can just do that and then I grab another clip do the same thing and now I like to go for music so a quick tip that I learned was that instead of going on iTunes and having to buy the music you can go on Safari go on your YouTube channel you title what you want, so I'm just going to say, say, my name, uh, there you go, maybe like any music that you want, you click it, you go over here, oh, no, you don't copy, but it's this point, you click, so you know how there's www.youtube, right be after the dot, you click two S's, as you can see, it's a free online YouTube downloader, and it downloads all the things that you want, such as videos and um, all the things. So once you got that, that just didn't happen because I haven't updated anything. But I promise that won't happen to you guys. Um, anyways, so now that you've got your music, you want to drag it over here. You put it right under your um, clip. You click Blaze. You click it. And... Now I'm going to show you guys how to animate. How to animate. It's really, really simple. So you want to start out by grabbing your clip and clicking this box right here. So now, it's going to move. You're going to move it. You're going to keep moving it. And if you don't want to move it, you don't have to move it. I'm just showing you an example that you could if you want to. Um, um, you basically just kind of download it it's like this. It's up to you. Once you got that all the way, you stop it. You can look back at it. It makes like a little cool bubbling kind of noise. And you'll see what you've done. <clears throat> So now you got that all the way, you click, I like to click right here and I like to go to color and I like to go to the hue sat or saturation and I like to drag it on my clip and this just gives my clip a lot of like more shine to it and brightness and that's what I really like about my videos. So for the text, I know a lot of you guys like, like the 3D ones and like the graphical ones that go like this or like the bumpers and all these things but I simply just like to go to basic title it is the simplest and it is the most customized one and I click blitz again and kind of blaze my video and the songs kind of getting my nerves so I'm just gonna kind of lower it down but I go to my text I text what I want to do I'm just gonna text shoes because why not um and then you have 3d styles or 2d styles i just like to go with 2d because it's the easiest um so i just go to offset because that is again my favorite one go all the way up so now it's like pretty big and a tip that i learned is since obviously um the clip is moving you want to move it with it but i'm not going to do anything you can just click like this and again move it if you want to just click this and move it so you move maybe how you want it to I'm not gonna really do any like detail because if not I can't really get to the video but you got my point you just move it around like you did with the clips and once you got that done oh, I'm sorry that's on my desk just kind of looks like this and 
now for the animations or transitions, I like to go with the simplest one. And it's just a diagonal. I just have to open that diagonal and then just fall and blah blah. So this is kind of how the clip looks. And basically after I am done with that, I just click this um, share project tool and go to master file. And once the master file is done, it will say like your your thing is done, share successfully. And you just drag it and I dragged it and um, this is how I get it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. I don't know why I did that. Um. Give this video a big thumbs up because because why not? As you can see, I'm right here. Um, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below, and I will see you guys next time. So make sure to uh, subscribe down below. Okay, bye. I'm gonna go. <laughs>